Lawyer and life pro tip, words have meanings and sometimes they have slightly more meanings than you might have initially anticipated. Viva Fry, Montreal litigator turned YouTuber, and this story has been making the rounds over the last couple of days, and it truly is fascinating because it goes to show you that sometimes terms and concepts have more meanings than you might have initially anticipated. The story starts with Gretchen Whitmer, and for those of you who don't know, Gretchen Whitmer is the governor of Michigan. Say whip. Whip. Now say cool whip. Cool whip. Cool whip. Cool whip. She is the governor of Michigan who issued some questionable executive orders in the context of the My Sharona Cyrus Schman Schmendrick. I've done a couple of vlogs dealing with those orders and the rulings declaring them unconstitutional. I'll link one of them right here. Give it a watch if you haven't seen it yet. Governor Whitmer has been in the news more recently because she was the object or the subject. She was the object of an alleged kidnapping plot that was foiled by the FBI and she has been doing the rounds giving interviews on the subject and most recently she was on Meet the Press where she said this. You know, it's, it's incredibly disturbing that the president of the United States, 10 days after a plot to kidnap, 10 days after that was uncovered, the president is at it again and inspiring and in incentivizing and um, inciting this kind of domestic terrorism. Now, for those of you with a trained eye or for those of you who have been following the news for the last couple of days, you will know that what is interesting in this video is not necessarily what she is saying, but what is being said in the backdrop behind her. The president is at it again and inspiring and in incentivizing and um, inciting this kind of domestic discreetly yet obviously placed in the backdrop behind her under a potted plant are four numbers eight six four five and what on earth does that mean why it is there what the what's going on what's going on Shortly after Governor Whitmer's interview, the Trump war room took to Twitter to say the following. Governor Gretchen Whitmer displayed an 8645 sign during her TV appearance. 86 can be shorthand for taking someone's life. And you can read on. And in further support of their position, they show a definition from Wikipedia, which has since been altered, but we will get into that. And the definition from the Urban Dictionary, which reads as follows. 86. To get rid of originally for killing someone. The phrase, quote, 80 miles out and six feet under was reserved for someone who had to dig their own grave 80 miles from civilization and then get shot. All terms for 86 originated from this, be it for alcohol or eliminating. By Carlos Diaz, October 5th, 2007. The interesting thing is that if you go to Wikipedia now to look up the term, it no longer makes any reference to killing, and that is because the entry has been subject to something of an edit war over the last couple of days, which we'll get into. But let's just go right now and see what the definition of the term is, as per Wikipedia, as of the time of shooting this vlog. 86 or 86 is an American English slang, meaning, according to the Oxford English Dictionary, quote, to eject or debar a person from premises, to reject or abandon, end quote. It is used in food and drink services to indicate that an item is no longer available or that a customer should be ejected. Outside this context, the term is generally used with the meaning to, quote, get rid of somebody or something. There are many theories about the origin of the term, but none are certain. It seems to have originated in the 1920s or 1930s. Possible origins include rhyming slang for nicks, part of the jargon used by soda jerks. There are other theories as to the origins of the term, some of which overlap with the existing definitions that still remain on the Wikipedia definition, but these come from websites which themselves have not been modified in recent memory. From the Urban Dictionary, Top definition 86 to remove end usage or take something out or away despite all other posts suggestion the origin of this phrase There is only one true answer Chumley's a famous and old New York speakeasy is located at 86 Bedford Street during prohibition an entrance through an interior adjoining courtyard was used as it provided privacy and discretion for customers as was and is a New York tradition the cops were on the payroll of the bar and would give a ring to the bar that they were coming for a raid the bartender would then give the command quote 86 everybody end quote, which meant that everyone should hightail it out of the 86 Bedford entrance because the cops were coming in through the courtyard by Baz, February 17, 2005. The Urban Dictionary also provides other alternative explanations as to the origins of the term 86, and I'm not citing the Urban Dictionary because it's an authority. I'm only citing it to prove that these definitions are over a decade old. 86, one, to run out of a menu item. Two, to end, stop, or cut off. Three, to get rid of, usually in reference to a person, often a co-worker, sometimes viewed jokingly as a euphemism for killing them. By last Tuesday, January 12, 2006. 
And then we have the definition included by the Trump War Room in their tweet from October 5th, 2007. And the idea that the term 86 also potentially referenced killing someone even if it's in a joking manner was not limited to the Urban Dictionary. For those of you who still placed any weight on what Snopes has to say, they also included this as a potential definition. One of the many oddball terms that has crept into the English language in the past century is a peculiarly inexplicable one. The verbal short form of 86 to mean to dismiss or quash, to bar entry or further service to, and even to kill. To kill. To kill. Again, I am not citing or referencing Snopes, the Urban Dictionary, or Wikipedia to prove the actual origins of the term 86 or to prove the actual definition of the term 86. All I'm doing is to show that for over a decade now, the term 86 has at least allowed or admitted of the possibility that it originated with the idea of killing someone, even if it was only meant as a joke. 80 miles out, six feet deep was one of the theories. Another one of the theories that are related to death was because apparently a gravesite is eight feet long by six feet wide. That I cannot attest to. Personally, I just saw that in one of the definitions as well. The point is that for well over a decade, one of the theories of the origins of the term related to killing somebody, and it was on Wikipedia's website until October of this year, or was it because there's actually a little more to that backstory? Now, Tim Pool just did a video on the subject, and it's relatively thorough. I actually didn't think I was going to have much to add to it until I discovered that I actually had something to add to it, but in his video, he notes the fact that on Wikipedia, it did include reference to the potential of killing someone up until October when it was changed. We click preview on the 18th, fixed a typo. It says killing someone was removed and they claimed it was fixing a typo. I kid you not. Check that out. They lied about what, why they changed it and they removed killing someone. And it's probably because today at 159, they tweeted 8645 was on Gretchen Whitmer's desk. After the Whitmer interview on Meet the Press, that reference was removed from the Wikipedia entry on the basis that it was a typo. In his analysis, Tim Pool rightly notes that as of July 2020, the Wikipedia entry for the term 86 included the reference to killing someone that was removed in October 2020 after the Whitmer interview, but Tim Pool doesn't know when that entry was added. On the 17th of July, it says killing someone. It was there the whole time. But I, I wonder how far I can go back. Let's go back to the 10th of February. On the 10th of February, it doesn't say killing someone. So at some point, they added killing someone. So it's probably around uh, July, it looks like they added the phrase. And in watching Tim Pool's analysis, I did say to myself, it is essential to know when Wikipedia added the reference to killing someone under the term 86. Why? Because in July 2020 was when this movement was born, the 8645 movement. For those of you who may not know, the hate Donald Trump movement is quite a lucrative movement with a lot of business opportunities. And as of July 2020, there was a lot of paraphernalia on sale on Amazon with the 8645 thing, hats, shirts, bumper stickers, the idea being 8645, eject Donald Trump from office, Donald Trump being the 45, the 45th president of the United States. To the best of what I could find online, a lot of these movements seem to have sprung up in July 2020. I couldn't really find any earlier, but all that to say, the 8645 paraphernalia movement existed on Amazon as of July 2020. So given all of these 8645 campaigns springing up on Amazon in July 2020, the million dollar question becomes when did Wikipedia add the term killing someone to the definition of 86? And I think I found that answer. It'll be a million dollars, please. 344, 10 May 2020 seems to be the date on which the killing someone was added to the definition of the term 86. As of 2110, 9 May 2020, the term 86 was defined as follows. 86, 86, 86, 86, or 86 is an American English slang for getting rid of something by burying it, ejecting someone, or refusing service. And at 344, 10 May 2020, 86, 86, 86, 86, or 86 is an American English slang for canceling something, killing someone, Someone, getting rid of something by burying it, ejecting someone, or refusing service. How you choose to interpret these facts is up to you, but at the very least, it seems very relevant that the definition of 86 on Wikipedia was amended in May of 2020, which sort of coincides with the birth of this highly lucrative 8645 movement that we see on Amazon. That being said, and notwithstanding the definition on Wikipedia, it seems well established that one of the theories of the origins of the term 86 always included the idea of killing someone, and I sort of suspect that's why people went with the 8645 idea in the first place 
in that it's sort of edgy, but it's sort of justifiable because the longer standing traditions of the origins of the term only involve ejecting someone from a bar. Which brings us right back to the beginning of this vlog in that I strongly suspect some of the people behind the 8645 merchandise knew of this double entendre, but I have no doubt that Whitmer did not know of this double entendre. And for those of you who may not know, double entendre is French for double here in that something can have two meanings at the same time. I have no doubt that Whitmer did not know of the potential double entendre when she placed the 8645 at the base of the flower pot. There's no way she would have done it had she known of the double entendre, especially under the circumstances. I mean, I had no idea what 86 meant and I live on the internet. I have no doubt that Whitmer just heard of the 8645 movement in that she wants to eject Trump from the White House. She thought it was a good idea to put it there to score some political points and that's what she did. Having no idea of the potential secondary meaning and the controversy it would stir. And this is why everyone has to appreciate that words have meanings and sometimes they have more meanings than you fully appreciate at the time you utter them. And just to further evidence this theory and show you how old I am, back in 2004 there was a big controversy resulting from an ad campaign that appeared in New York City. A risque ad on the bus if you speak hip hop by Anthony Ramirez, November 6, 2004. In the timeless struggle of youth to slip a fast one past the grown-ups, attention must be paid to the case of the hip hop clothing company and the Metropolitan Transportation Authority. In September, at the start of the school year, Academics, a Manhattan-based hip hop clothing designer, spent $58,000 for an advertisement that would run mainly on buses. It featured a young woman in a sweater and panties kneeling on a book-strewn floor and looking coyly at the camera. The ad slogan for all most adults knew was pro-education. The phrase, quote, read books was followed by, quote, get brain. Seems innocent enough if you don't know the dual meanings of these terms, someone reading a book and getting smarter. Nope. Yesterday, after an article in the Daily News reported that the phrase was slang for oral sex, the authority learned it was promoting sexual innuendo on 118 motorized billboards and several subway trains. Outraged, transportation officials immediately removed the ads from the system. Academics, the clothing company, called a news conference. Emmett Harrell, 33, co-founder of Academics, said that, as in most advertising, sex is a subtext of teenage culture. Quote, we're promoting reading. It's not that we're promoting oral sex, Mr. Harrell said. Call me a cynic because I may not be buying exactly what Mr. Harrell is trying to sell, but one thing is for certain, the Transportation Authority were inadvertently promoting oral sex because they did not know the double entendre of that phrase. And I strongly suspect that this is the exact same situation with Governor Whitmer, who did not necessarily fully appreciate the two potential meanings of 8645, and before I attribute something to malice, I am going to attribute it to ignorance. At the very least, now you know the context, you know the history, you know the origins of the term 86, and you can fully appreciate that when using terminology that you may not be fully familiar with, be sure that there are not any secondary potentially negative definitions that you might not want to be using in your everyday language. And with that said and done, if you like my videos and like my content, please be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, drop a comment in the comment section below because it feeds the algorithm. Please, sir. I want some more. If you want to support the channel, all of the support links are in the pinned comment. We've got PayPal, Patreon, subscribe to our YouTube membership. We've got merch, but more important than any of that, take care of yourselves, check in on friends and family, and make sure everyone around you is doing well. And now you know your vlog. Peace out. Yeah.